almost irresponsible way of living for five years. I think it's important. I seem to remember that. Yes, that's but it's all basically motivation. And whether it's teenagers or women or men, I think all of us need to be to be motivated, to be challenged, to inspire, to reach, and to constantly be reminded that we can really have from life anything that we want. And for many of the women there today who are homemakers and grandmothers, I hopefully maybe sparked a thought that in order to really stay involved and vital and alive all of our life, we have to be involved. And it takes work to be involved. Larry and I even found on our vacation this last summer, it took work to have fun. It meant getting, we went to California, it meant getting out with a tennis record or going to the beach and changing clothes and, and doing all the things that take time. It would have been much easier to have just stayed in the condominium that we were in and look at the ocean. But to really get out and have fun, it takes planning. Make, make the effort. It takes a tremendous amount of effort. And many of the women here today have reared their families, their children are grown are out of school, and now it takes a tremendous amount of courage to decide to get re-involved in life outside of the home. Day of the week. Forget about Jack, even though, even though he's good looking. <laughs> I will. Marilyn, uh, you had an enthusiastic crowd at your speaking engagement this morning. Uh, you've been traveling around the country speaking on this same subject. Can you tell us in a couple of sentences what is it that you're advocating or speaking about? Is it possible to put it in a couple of sentences? Well, it's, it's difficult. One of the things that Mary Martin said was, be careful what you, what you hope for, because it will come true. And I believe that. And many people don't hope for anything, and they don't wish for anything, and nothing really comes to them. But the people who do have plans, and the thing that I spoke about today, is that we have to establish definite goals that we want to accomplish. Not someday, not uh, four years from tomorrow, but a definite time period. Because if we don't establish a definite time period, then somehow it just doesn't seem to happen. And involved in whatever it is that's meaningful to them, whether it's their garden or a civic organization or supporting an art show or whatever it is, it takes courage to do it once you are, once you find that your children are gone. Where do you go from here, Marilyn? Home, <laughs> to Denver. I've been speaking since Tuesday, and I did five speeches in four days, which is what I like to do. I like to do a lot of speaking in a short period of time and then go home to my wonderful husband. Thank you very much. Okay, Jack, we have a way of getting by. Established, and we have a good, firm foundation for a marriage, and now we 